Hi everyone. In this video, we will be understanding how you can use sales order with Books Plus. With our recent upgrade, you can now enable sales order and also create sales order after having created sales quotations. In order to enable that, you need to go to settings, advanced settings, you can enable sales orders. Now please note, after enabling sales order, you will not be able to disable it. So please enable it only if your process is such that you require sales orders as well. I click on proceed. Now this is done. You will notice a new tab called sales order has been created on the left hand side. Now with regards to your sales process, you can either start by creating a sales quotation, convert it to sales orders, fulfill it or convert it to invoice and then you can fulfill it at the invoice level as well. Or if you do not want to create a quotation, you can directly start with sales order as well. Please note sales order is a strictly optional transaction. But yes, if you have a three stage process from quotations to sales orders to invoices, you can use this. So let's see this in action. Let's go to quotes. We'll click on new quote. Select contact. Let's add the product. Let's save this. So this has been saved. You will notice at the quotation, you get an option to convert it to invoice and sales order both. So if you have a situation wherein you need to convert it to invoice directly, you can do that as well. Let's go back to the list. Click on more options. Again, you have this option to convert to sales order. Let's do that. So you can convert either fully or partially. So this is something that is common that we have while converting. So we've given both these options. If you select convert partially, you can edit these details. So if you want to edit the price, you can do that while creating the sales order as well. Let's save this. The sales order has been saved. You will notice at the sales order, you will get an option to print, convert to invoice and fulfill as well. Let's go to the list of sales orders. You will notice the sales order has been created. Under more options, you can convert it to invoice. You can attach files or you can fulfill as well. Let's click on convert to invoice. So again, you get the standard options. You can fulfill and convert, convert fully, convert partially. So let's select convert partially. You can save the invoice. The invoice has been saved. You can go to the list of invoices. Now, finally, at the invoice level, you can click on fulfill. Direct fulfillment or pick back ship. You can select from the warehouse, click on save, click on fulfill. And this completes the entire cycle. So you can start from quotations, convert it to sales order. You can either fulfill at the sales order or convert it to invoice and then fulfill at the invoice level. You also have the option to partially convert the sales order or partially fulfill the sales order. Please do try this. And if you have any queries or feedback, do write to us at care at the Thank you.